Hello and welcome back. Steel Pinnings here once again. And today I wanted to do something a little different. And I wanted to try and pick a stock lock. But it's more complicated than just any stock lock. I wanted to pick this profile cylinder. And this is a fairly large one there. And it is a Winkhaus or Winkhaus um, in German. And German. Germany in general and the Germans they make awesome locks and, and other products too of course but the locks that come out of Germany I've always found were premium premium locks and uh, I did have of course they do apparently do have their uh, their own Let me find it here Drop it. <laughs> They do have their own shit lock, too. Uh, this is a vichette, sorry. Grab the one next to it. Where did it go, huh? Where did it go? It was called a mystere or mystere or something like that. It was their own master lock. Potty sent it to me. Nonetheless, I'm not going to dig around for it. We're going to pan down just a bit move the vise over and we're gonna see if we can pick this profile cylinder and if I get it picked then you know I guess we'll try and gut it what do you say All right <clears throat> I don't gut very many of these either so it's gonna be an experience uh, yep okay I think it's in there right get it good and tight all right about all that Okay, there's our profile. I am going to use a uh, 40 thousandths pry bar, but I'm going to use it in the bottom of the lock, like that. And then I'm going to use a Tron from Sparrows. We'll zoom in just a bit. Get the hair off, right? Okay, so we'll go in and See what we can find here. Put the light better here for us. One's loose, two's loose, three's bound. Got a click out of three. Got a couple clicks out of four. And set. And five. On the end. I think it's set. We'll come and work our way back. Four set. Three. Little set. Two. Give me another click. And we're open. Pretty cool. That wasn't too hard, now was it? Okay. So now I'll take it out of here and work on getting it apart. Okay. So. Now we've got to get it apart. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and spin it all the way upside down. So now that it's wrong way. And we've got a clip exposed here. And of course these are going to be the uh, clips that have to be like deformed. Let's see if this thing here will help us. Right side there. Ugh. No, it doesn't want to fit. I'd like to have seen that. Oh well. Okay then. We'll put a block in it right here. Like that. And here. Man, I hate these things. Gotten it a bit looser. Might have to pop this puppy in the vise just to do this. And a little more. Alright. <laughs> okay. Now we got that one off. And maybe we can get this one off, right?
Okay. Looks like we might get somewhere now. Come on, meow. Okay, we got it off of there. Well, we got the clips off of there. That took longer than it did to pick it. Now we got a tray, clips down. Spin that one back around, upside down. And we'll put in this little doodad that I got from Mr. Trickmaster 30. That'll help hold those there. And we'll use our clip, pick, grab it, and kind of pull it out. And voila! And we get on the bottom side here. Ooh, we don't have a key, so. One, two, three, four, and five down the bottom. Need my tweezies. Okay. Then we're gonna take this doodad here and slide it on top. Come on now. Looks like a fox one. Hang on one second. Oh, I wish I could see down that hole, huh? Uh huh. I'm seeing a spool down there that doesn't want to go down. Okay, that time we lost the spool. He fell out. Let's get out of there. Okay. That's the spool that kept wanting to jump out. So, now I think we've gotten it. Pull that out. And, I think we can turn it this way. That way we come from the front side and slowly start pulling them out. And number one's a spool. Two is a spool. Maybe they're all spools. Three is the standard. Four, spool. And five is going to be a spool. Yep. Pretty cool. And that's gonna be I'm not gonna bother with the springs. Y'all probably know I hate springs. So it comes down to it where we have four spools and a standard. And as you can tell, what part gets used the most here, huh? On all these. <laughs> what part gets rubbed. Alright, so Let's see if we can get it back together, right? Y'all want to see me put it back together or call it quits? We normally don't put them back together on camera, huh? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. Okay. We'll try this. Snot grass. 
Of course, it wasn't going to cooperate, right? Why would it cooperate? Damn, springs. Thank you for giving back to school. Let's try that again, huh? Okay, keep moving. Hey, haha, -ha. I got them all back in there. You guys should be proud of me. And I see what the problem was. See here, this thing is bent already. I mean, bend it back down. It needs to be kind of straight like, like that, really. And spin this back around to that side. Kind of exposes them just a touch, see? Take this doodad and back down on there. Yay. Oh, damn it. Doing it again to hell, man. Well, I have to say, these things aren't very strong. Well, I wanted to make a key for it anyhow, so I'm going to make a key for this thing, for it. So I'll have to have this part for that anyway. <laughs> I'll stop there before wasting any more time. Y'all please stay safe, always stay legit. If you like this video and like what I do here, hit that like button. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Till we meet again, peace.